Hey guys, it's Tika and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable treat pot bouquet. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is begin baking up some cookies. I am using my regular smegular sugar cookie recipe for this and I'm just adding skewers into these cookies and I'm going to bake these as normal. I just wanted you to see that there was no difference and these were very easy to do. After everything is nice and cool, I'm going to take some medium consistency red cookie icing and I'm just going to go ahead and outline and fill in this cookie. Once it's had a moment to set, I'm going to take some black, really stiff consistency frosting and I'm going to put a little half a circle and then a full on circle right here. Using some tweezers, I'm gonna grab a sprinkle and I'm just gonna place that in the center of the eye. And using an edible marker, I'm just going to draw on a happy little smile. Using some medium consistency pink frosting, I'm just gonna squeeze on two little dots for the cheeks. Then using some yellow icing, I am just going to put a few dots on this little heart and this is gonna make it a strawberry. Using my scribe tool, I'm just gonna add peaks to these little circles to make them look like the seeds of a strawberry. Then with some really thick green frosting, I'm just gonna use a leaf tip here and I'm gonna add some of those little green leaves at the top of my little strawberry. And you can actually stop here. I did one previously with both eyes open and just use an edible marker to add the eyebrows, but I'm gonna keep going with this little guy right here. I'm gonna add a little dot of pink and then I'm just gonna add a really cute pink bonnet bow. Now we're gonna move on to our last cookie and our last cookie is a solid pink cookie and I'm just using my Pico projector to write the words, you are very sweet on this cookie. If you have decent handwriting, please omit this step, but my handwriting is garbage, so the projector it is. And we are all done with these adorable cookies. Now we're going to move on to the cake pops. Now, cake pops are really simple. I just have about six cupcakes here and I'm just gonna grind them up into really nice, fine crumbs. And then I'm just going to add in a few tablespoons of frosting. Now I used about four today. You don't need too much. You just want enough frosting to where the consistency is sort of like dough. It'll squish together, but not too squishy. And I am just using a cookie scoop and I am going to scoop up this cake pop filling and I'm just gonna roll it up into a ball in my hands. I'm gonna place this onto a baking sheet And these are gonna go in the freezer for just a few minutes. Once those are nice and chill, I'm gonna take this little cute paper straw. I got these from Target, they were only a dollar. And I'm gonna dip that into a little bit of chocolate and I'm gonna place that into a cake pop. Once these are all done, they're going back in the freezer for just a few minutes, not too, too long at all. And I'm gonna just dip these straight into some chocolate once everything is nice and chill. And I'm gonna tap the side of my hand here to get off any extra chocolate. I'm gonna put this into a styrofoam sand for just a second and then I'm gonna use a really small spoon and I'm gonna add some little cute sprinkles on top, give that that faux Starbucks cake pop look. And now that everything's done, let's go ahead and put this adorable gift together. So I have some floral foam here. I actually got this from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And this cute little bucket that I got from Walmart for only a dollar as well. And I am just going to measure this out a little bit, make sure it fits. And I'm going to use some hot glue and I'm going to just glue this little foam block right inside. Then 
Then I'm gonna take some pink tissue paper and I'm just gonna place this right over. And using a skewer, I'm going to poke a hole into the floor foam through this tissue paper so that everything just kind of slides in a little easier. Once I've gotten everything arranged, I'm just gonna add some chocolate kisses. And now we are all done. I'm just gonna take a cellophane shrink wrap bag and I'm gonna place this into that little baggie. Now I'm not actually gonna shrink wrap this because we don't wanna melt our treats, but that is all guys. I hope you enjoyed this video today. I just paired this really cute gift with a card and this will be going to my son's teacher. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.